Let's graph the linear equation y equals x plus 7. And we're going to do it two ways. First, we'll get a table of values. So we'll put values in for x, find y using the equation here, and then we'll graph them. After that, we'll look at the slope-intercept formula to quickly check our work. So let's put some values in for x. It really doesn't matter what values we put in, but we kind of want them to fit on our graph paper here. Let's start out with 0. If x is 0, 0 plus 7, that's just 7. Why don't we put negative 1 in? If we have negative 1 for x, negative 1 plus 7, that gives us 6. How about negative 2? Because negative 2 plus 7, that would give us 5. We know that's going to fit on the graph. So again, I could choose any values for x, but these ones I know they give me these points here. They're going to fit nicely on our graph. Let's do the first point here, 0 for x, 7 for y. So x is 0 and y is 7. That's our first point. Then we have negative 1x, 6y. So negative 1, go up 6. That's our next point. And finally, negative 2, and we go up to 5. And that's it. Let's put a line through this. And then let's put arrows to show that it goes to infinity. So this is the line for y equals x plus 6. Let's check our work with slope-intercept formula. So we have y equals mx plus b b, that's the y-intercept. So that's where the line is going to intercept the y-axis, and that's at 7 right there. So that's not surprising. We can think of the slope as rise over run. So you know there's a 1 in front of the x here. We don't write that, but there's a 1. And you can think of that as 1 over 1. It's the same thing as 1. But now we can say we have rise over run. And we can go to our y-intercept here. We can rise 1 and run 1. And you can see it's right on the line. Let's do it again. Rise 1 and go over 1. And that would be on our line as well. So that shows us that this is the correct graph for y equals x plus 7. And note, any value we put in for x, we'd get a corresponding value for y, and that would all fall on this line for y equals x plus 7. This is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.